bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome back to French Hot Beer Reviews. I'm Scott. I am Jeff. Uh, tonight, we have a beer from Grim Artisanal Ales. They're from Brooklyn, New York, founded in 2013. And uh, this particular beer was first brewed in 2016. And Jeff is going to tell you all about it. it. Well, not all about it, but what I know about it at this point. Uh, <laughs> it's 6.4% alcohol by volume. And it contains Citra, El Dorado, and Mosaic hops. Yes. And I'm pretty excited to uh, see how this goes. It's Lumen IPA. We do our reviews based on untapped scoring, which is zero to five. It's a great application. Join us there, FHBR, send a friend request, and we will read your scores. If you've checked in the beer we are doing on that particular review. So we're going to crack it open and look at it, smell it, taste it, score it. And my internet connection is unstable again. All right, are you uh, you ready to crack it open? Yeah, might as well. All right, on three. Ooh, tight. One, tag. one, two, three. Ooh, that was a tight tab. Nice, light. Looks like a lemony fresh beer. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Some glassware. My not crystal clear, but not uh, not like opaque either. Yeah, nothing floating around in it. Um, nice color too. Not that gray haziness. Yeah, I think it's going to be light and fluffy and tropical. Now that the head is dissipated. Oh, it smells fresh. It smells very good. fresh. It smells really good. No date on the can that I noticed. Lots of pineapple in there for me. A little citrus in there, I think. Yeah, a little sweetness, like candy sweetness almost. like Candied pineapple, perhaps? Yeah. It smells really good. It smells really good. Can we drink it now? Yep. Even though you didn't say please, I'll let it go because I wanted to. I never say please. I'm horrible at that. Ask my kids. <laughs> you shouldn't have to say please to your kids. She said, just fucking do it. That's kind of what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they do. Dang. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice 6.4% hit there with the... Mm -hmm. I'm not really tasting the pineapple, but there's there's definitely a, a dankness to it. And um, the, the citrus is there. More like yeah. a more like a lemon lime citrus to me. Agreed. I feel like all of a sudden my palate's fucking amazing. <laughs> like we've only done six hundred of these. I feel like I'm starting to kind of get it. Like this one is is one you will drink the shit out of. It's tasty. Yeah, it, it's got a lemon lime thing going on for me and a nice nice little dank bite to it clean definitely definitely that bitter bite at the end that i like i enjoy i saw that <laughs> what the hell just happened right weird shit going on with the interwebs hey you know what's great is when people uh like and subscribe to the channel and what would be even more fun is everyone would stop buying their t-shirts from spreadshirt.com and be able to wear them everywhere they wanted yeah, the new logo's on there. It's, there's some good stuff on the store. Is the old logo there in case they like the, the old school one? Yep. I'm ready to score this beer. You you got some uh, your notes jotted down? and I gave it a 4.1. Okay, that's what I was going to do too. All right. So we're a 4.1 collectively as a team. Team FHBR is a 4.1. And we're going to see if you guys checked it in and uh, come back in just a few seconds. You too. Have a great night. Right. 
Come on, get it together here. Hello, and welcome back to the French Rose Bay Reviews Untapped Recap for Grimm's Lumen. 6.4% alcohol by volume. Scott and I gave it a 4.1. I just burped it up, and it's it was a delicious burp. Let me tell you. The flavors really came through after digesting them a while. Uh, we had how many friends checking in? 21? 14? 13. 13. Okay. Thank you guys for uh, being our friends on Untap. Uh, not sure that's a great life choice, but anyways, we're going to run right through this list, and their average was a 4.17, right? Yep. All right. Who you got first? Uh, you you go. You got to go first. Andy D with a four. Sean Horan with a four. Jason Villeneuve with a four. New name, Mark Arrow. A-R-O. Gave it a 3.75. Andrew Campione, who's been checking in for years with us, with a four. John D. Gave it a 4.25. I'm sorry, Chris Jackson, who's been with us for a while also. 4.25. Christopher Smoking the Pipe gave it a 3.75. I think now we're getting into the territory where the, these check-ins are back when the beer was first released in 2016. Joe from the Beer Patrol. Great yep. channel. Check him out. 4.5. He said they know what they're doing. Nathaniel Decknadel gave it a four and a half. Mike Lefebvre, who is an often checker in her at a, with a 4.5. Chris Ky Kyler, K-E-I-L-L-E-R. -K Kyler, I think. Four and a half. And Rebecca Baker, who uh, we've run into at a few different breweries, uh, 4.25. So like we there said, 417 for those. And what was the grand total? 17,000 other friendly fuckers gave it a 418. That's a lot of check-ins. It is. And uh, it's a good beer. 4.1 for us. Two thumbs up. Go get it if you can find it. Um, $18 at the brewery. Not exactly sure what I paid at the store. I'm guessing 20 21 something like that. Could be wrong. But Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for checking. Have a great night. Cheers.